Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I am back today with another haul video. So, I have a variety of items here that I picked up at different places, including antique stores and uh, yard sales. Where else did I go? Yeah, like all over. So, I mean, I'm gonna go back and forth with some of these things, but I am really pretty happy with what I have to show you. So let's start off with, let's start off with this little box here. I thought this was a fantastic little thing. I picked it up at a yard sale for 50 cents. Look at the graphics. It has this kind of salmon color with these black triangles. Really awesome. And it has uh, like sun, like little sun pictures here. So I'll show you the inside. And it has a divided uh, compartment right in the center there. So what this is, I believe, is a cigarette box. And I have found a few others online that come with little ashtrays that match it, but I have not found any like this one. So, you know, basically this is a kind of hard thing to find to begin with, but this is made by Sierra Madre, California E&R. So it's really cool. I'll show you that it's written kind of in a gold lettering right there. But there is the writing on the inside of the lid. And then uh, there's no really other writing on the bottom or anything. But this is just a really cool find for 50 cents. At that same yard sale, I got one other thing, a favorite of mine, a figurine. But this is made by Andrea by Sadiq. I'll show you that. It's these yellow roses. Beautiful. And I looked these over and there is actually no issues at all. So I was surprised to find that out. I haven't cleaned this yet, but what I do for these kind of things is I just spray them out with water. You could also probably use an air, air hose thing, but uh, I just do that with the water. Uh, this was made in 2000, by the way, and it is made in China, but it's beautiful porcelain. And there is the bottom right there. So beautiful. I think it's just a great pickup for 50 cents. Huh. That was a great price. 50 cents at that yard sale. I went to Goodwill at one point. I don't remember it like when I went, but I got this cookie jar. So it's really cool. I'll show you what it is. It has this green glass on here. It's a clear top. These wood handles. This is known as siesta wear. Uh, not fiesta wear, but siesta. And I'll show you the bottom here. It's written right on there. So it's pretty obvious what this is if you ever see it out in the wild, siesta wear. They made a whole bunch of little mugs just like this in lots of different colors. Green, blue, orange, red, uh, all those colors. So yeah, there are matching mugs just like this. I paid $6 for this cookie jar. But here's the thing. I tried listing the mugs for a while and they just sat. They never sold. And they're obnoxious things. I mean, the handles are big and bulky. They're wood handles attached to glass, just like that. So imagine that, but like in a mug form. Oh boy. So why did I buy the cookie jar? It's just that, well, I hadn't seen one before. And I was at Goodwill. I was thinking in the back of my mind, well, maybe I can sell the mugs if I have the cookie jar as like whole thing. I know that's a warped way of thinking, but I could not pass it up for, what was that? $6, so. There's that. Where do I want to go? So at my antique mall. So I do have three antique booths if you're new, <laughs> but I have three antique booths at this mall, an antique mall. And there is a semi new vendor that just moved in and they had this. So I'll show you what it is. It's this chicken rooster cookie jar or <laughs> butter dish, but it is really pretty. It's ceramic. And on the bottom, it is marked Japan. So it's a really nice butter dish. All in all, great shape. Only some minor wear to that red cold painted uh, head right there. It's not focusing. There we are. Minor paint loss to the top of that. But it was only $3. So um, for a $3 butter dish, I can easily sell this on Etsy for about 20 so I bought it. It's just nice. I like it. I mean, it's really cool. I bought one other, a uh, couple other things from that same mall, oops, from my antique mall that I rent in. This is a beautiful, I'll show you it. Any guesses what it is? I mean, it's kind of obvious. 
mean, if you have been around the block at all, it's a snack tray. So this would have been part of a snack tray set. It could have had a mug with it that matched. But look at the design on here. I love this floral. And there are birds intermixed in there, as you can see them. Can you, yeah, there's like a bird right there. Beautiful, this is a 1930s era. It's made of composite, not plastic or metal or anything like that. It's a composite pressed material, like pressed paper, pressed uh, board. And on the bottom, on the back, it says registered, celebrate. So celebrate is probably, I don't know why it says celebrate. And it says made in Japan, alcohol proof. This is made by Viking Imports, Japan. And yeah, it's sort of like this paper mache composite material. And let's see, there's a small chip on the back that you could probably maybe see, uh, give you an idea right there. So it's kind of this uh, papery kind of thing, but it's very durable and strong. Long story short, it was $3 at the antique mall and I bought it for myself because I think it's beautiful. Love it. So there's that. The last thing that I bought at the mall, my mall, that I'm in is this tree here. It's a Christmas tree. So I've never seen anything like this before, but what it is, it says crystal, crystal pine tree. It's from the fifties and oh, the graphics are great on there. Look at the side. Shows you how you can have it displayed in your house. There we go. So I'll show you the inside of it. It's not put together. I do need to put it together, but it's a centerpiece type of a thing. And I did pay up for this. I paid $20, but hey, you know, I haven't ever found anything like this, so I thought I might as well buy it. Here is what it looks like whenever it's all put together. So it's this plastic crystal looking tree. And what those are, those are mercury bulbs, but they're miniature. And they go on there. So yeah, it's just really cool. It says crystal pine sparkling holiday tree, rich colorful decoration for windows, table centerpiece, mantle, all that. Looks like it originally sold for $1.25. So, and I paid 20. But what these sell for online, if you wanted to buy one like this, is anywhere between 20 and $40. I think I paid a good price and it's all here. So I will probably hang on to this for this season, maybe. I don't know, you know how I am. I, on a quick whim, I could decide to sell it, but it's beautiful and I have not found anything like it before. So there's that. Really awesome. And the box, look, that's part of the decoration right there. Just the box alone. You could, you know, literally uh, take this, put it together, set this box underneath it, use it as like a little riser. And there you are. Really awesome. So where are we at here? Okay, when I was at the antique mall the other day, I found just something that I had to grab. Now, I shouldn't say grab. Somebody told me that was a bad thing. I don't know, it's just a word. I bought something I had to buy. This is a really cool tape dispenser. Now look at me getting excited about a tape dispenser, but hey, there are ivy leaves on it and I just think it's really awesome. So look at that, if it'll focus. Will you focus? Can you focus? There you go. So it's really awesome. It has this kind of geometric ivy going on. Love it. There's that. There's no writing on it at all. Even on the bottom, it doesn't say anything. So this was in an antique mall in a very spectacular booth. Uh, it, there was a separate video done on this where we were walking around this mall. And I like a lot of the stuff she has in her booth. So this was kind of a consolation prize. It was maybe the cheapest ticket of buying something from her. $30 was the price of a tape dispenser, ceramic, mind you. 20% off was going on in that booth. So I bought it. So yeah, I mean, it's just wonderful. You know, they say when you see it, buy it. And I'm glad that I did that because this is rare. I mean, we're t yeah, it's a tape dispenser, woo, but it is rare. They don't, you don't come out, you don't see these often. And this is gonna look amazing on the wall in my kitchen. Hung just like this, just like that. Hung right on the wall. Beautiful. This is from the 40s or the 50s. Not much, oh, the dog's asleep. She's asleep and she's kind of like, can you hear that? She's 
he's half asleep and half not. That's so funny. So it's from the 40s or the 50s. It's amazing. And it, there is some crazy on it, of course. But that's enough of that. It's a tape dispenser, and I did pay money for it. So. Okay. So at that same antique, at that same antique mall, I bought this television lamp. Another thing I like to collect, unofficially, but officially. So I buy these TV lamps whenever I find a good one, one that I like, and this is one that I like. So this is kind of a non-figural, figural, is that how you say it now? It's not of a figure, right? It's just a, like a, like a decoration, a decor thing. There's not like an animal on it, okay? So it has this wonderful black spaghetti ceramic top to it that would hold a plant it's a planter and then this bottom part here lights up beautiful so i think i don't remember how much this was anymore it was like under 25 dollars but it's in great shape and i don't really come across tv planters very much so especially ones that i really like and want to buy this one is one of the ones i like to buy so it's definitely different than anything we have already. And I will put that on our TV uh, credenza thing, whatever it's called. And um, yeah, it'll light it up. We have a, see I had to start moving things around because we have a Jaguar, it's a Jaguar, no it's a Panther. We have a black Panther, is that a Panther or a Jaguar? We have a black Jaguar ceramic TV lamp. And it currently is sitting on top of this curio cabinet over here with some Art Deco things. But then we also have a, another one that's actually in the TV area, by the TV area, and it is a glass block that you could put like flowers, whatever in, and it has a, similar to this, a brass kind of bottom to it. And then I thought we had another. Okay, that's really sad. I forgot what we have. I had to go look. We have a green planter. It's kind of a deer. It's like a running deer made of like a heavy pottery. It's really cool. And I bought two of that exact one and I sold one on my Etsy and I kept one. So yeah, now I guess we have, one, two, I don't know, three or four, four, we have four. Okay, good. So yeah, we have four TV lamps now. So that's awesome. I also bought at that same antique mall, this really awesome canister. It's just the one canister, not the rest of them, but look at the graphic. There is a sailboat on there. Look at the color amazing i think that is spectacular this was twelve dollars and fifty cents at the antique mall and i and i bought it in order to sell it isn't that funny so i'm gonna try to get 22 or 24 dollars out of this in my antique booth because my booth in the mall the mall itself is located in a town where there's a lot of people coming through to do uh the boating jet ski fishing, all of that at Carlisle Lake. So I just think it's gonna sell. Look, that's that's the point I'm trying to make. I think it's gonna have a good chance, which leads me into this guy right here. It's this burnished type metal decor, uh, really prevalent in the, well, 70s and 80s. Home Interiors did a lot of stuff in this kind of style. But this is of a, what are those things? Are those, I can't tell if they're birds or if that's just something. Oh, they're waves, look at me. Yeah, birds are in the water. Those are waves and it's a sailboat. And I think maybe I can sell this here locally in the booth. It's kind of that 70s thing. So it might be outdated to the mainstream. We'll see. These are actually mugs that I don't usually buy. I really d don't buy a lot of mugs, I mean, I'm trying to move on to bigger, better things, but here we are again at mugs. These were at Savers, and yeah, I think that I can sell these in my booth, but I'll show you what they are. They're a pair of matching mugs, which also helped me buy them, and they happen to be $2 for two mugs, so that's a dollar a piece. But we have here this mug with these sailboats on it. I think it's a good quality mug. So there's like the speckling going on. There's also a little graphic right there on the inside and I don't see a maker on it. So yeah, honestly, this has been setting in kind of the wings for a while and I'm just now looking at it 
again. I don't see a maker on here, but for the booth, it doesn't really matter. They're cool. And then this one has some old planes. That's cool. Look at these old antique early style planes. Those are awesome. There they are there. Beautiful. So I'm probably gonna sell these in my booth, the pair of them together. I haven't thought about the price yet. I put $2 into it. Oh, $12, like six bucks a piece. I think I can do that. So yeah, I mean, did I get through everything? I did. Very cool. So yeah, hopefully you liked the haul. It was a little bit of a lot of different things. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.